This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of Green Lantern Beware My Power. This is the latest film in the Marvelverse. And with it, I am just kind of surprised that it came out this early. I thought that it was going to release on digital either this week or next week, and it wouldn't be on Blu ray until a few more weeks. And that's when I always pick it up. But I was surprised finding a Target yesterday. So I watched the movie, and it was another fun movie. With it, we get some crazy adaptations from the comics. So if you have not watched this yet, do not watch because there's going to be spoilers. So let's go straight into it. And with this, we get many things adapted from the comics. We get the everything with Sinestro, but we also get the Parallax storyline from the Green Lantern comics. And with that, it is a really famous story where, well, it was sort of infamous, I don't think a lot of people liked it, where Hell Jordan suffers a mental breakdown and turns into the villain Parallax, which is later retconned to having him be infected by the Parallax entity, which they have in here, and with it, we see how just crazy how Jordan has gone and become evil. With this, we have a pretty great cast. We have Jon Stewart taking over as Green Lantern. There is also so many other members of the league here. We have Green Arrow, Hawk Girl, and finally Adam Strange. And with it, this is a really great movie they did. A good job telling the story. And I'm excited to see how Jen Stewart evolves his character. I'm also kind of surprised that they went and killed off Hell Jordan in this universe. And Sinestro. They killed off well, two of the most major Green Lantern characters. Still pretty early on into the universe. But it was still a really interesting thing. And looking at it, I really did enjoy how they decided to go and to do all this because it was interesting to see. We got to see just how powerful the heroes were and what they were willing to do. There was the obvious, you know, stuff with Hell Jordan acting a little off, and with it, you got to see just how powerful he was and how much he fell because of the parallax entity and with it i was thinking they were going to find some way to save him and bring him back but they didn't they went and permanently killed him off and that's all really interesting i think they did such a great job with it and I'm really interested to see what they do next. I think that the next movie is going to be War World. I'm not 100% sure, but they also had some interesting confirmations that Wonder Woman does exist in this universe, and I'm not sure, you know, where she came from, since the only other appearance she had in this universe was in JSA World War II, which took place on alternate Earth. So yeah, that is interesting, but I'm just really excited to see just how this continues and to see what the next film in this is. But yeah, I want to know what you thought about this movie. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment. Check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.